Hi, this is Dr. Jenny, and I'm going to do a small demonstration on creating a cause and effect diagram. If you'll notice, I'm using Visio 2016, and in this, it's, when I come up here, I can either search on it, but I do have this listed here, the cause and effect diagram. I'm going to go ahead and select that. It'll ask me to create it. I will say yes, and I start out with a small... Um, layout like this. Now I like to add the fishbone frame so I'm going to pull that over here and add that now and uh, basically what you have here is the what I'm pointing to right here that is the we're stating the problem and then these are the categories. Now there are quite a few different suggestions about how you uh, categorize a uh, the categories. Uh, for example, you may hear that uh, folks like to do the McKinsey 7S framework, framework, which means that these categories would be divided up by strategy, structure, system, shared value, skills, style, staff, so on. Uh, some uh, like to use the four P's of marketing, which are product, place, price, and promotion. Uh, but the categories can be what you make of it. I'm going to work on one, um, for example, that for that might relate to a not-for-profit. So perhaps my problem here is that I have a um, board that's unmotivated. So a disconnected board. And that's my problem that I have it for my NFP. And notice if I click on something, I can I can go right to it. So if I click on it, you know, then it's going to take me to if I click on it uh, on the next one outside of it, it, it goes back. So now I'm going to click on this one. And by the way, I'm working small to keep this uh, video small, but you normally you could have this at full size. So pr probably one of the things that uh, I'm going to list here might be under my categories might be people here and then on another category I might have um, maybe the place which could be also be called the environment uh, maybe down here I have the process maybe that's part of the issue and these are broad headings here and then we have the uh, possibly we have the uh, policies that might be in there so in effect what I've done here is just given some categories. So these blocks are called categories. And then what we have um, is that we can have what's called primary cause or uh, secondary causes. So let's say that if I have a primary cause here, then I can essentially maybe for the place, I can say that um, located in uh, perhaps under place, I might have located in a um, area where with no parking because that would definitely uh, keep your board members from participating in um, monthly board meetings if you they have no place to park or it's difficult to get to the where you're having your meetings or whatever uh, then we could have even a, a secondary um, cause here might be that um, you know that it's there's a cost uh, for parking so that might just be some of the things that we have here. So I've got a primary cause. I can also put a secondary cause just by splitting this off here. But basically what I'm doing is putting it in by category. So um, hopefully all you see here is I'm just taking this and I'm dragging um, the pieces over there. So here's my secondary cause two um, and so on. So Essentially, I can um, split this out and add text box to actually indicate what those are. So, um, you know, you can, you can do this a lot of different ways, but this is a way for you to brainstorm. And essentially, a lot of times what happens is, is that students will actually draw this out and work with it. So for, for if your team is working with a, if one of your issues is a disconnected board, uh, you may want to to d do something like this uh, and under people you know basically you're just taking these categories that you've set up and then you're showing some of the causes 
um, that that fall under those categories that actually relate back to this problem. Once you've created your diagram, one of the things you can do is that you can actually take a screenshot of this and insert it in your PowerPoint, or you can do a screenshot and insert it in your paper. Uh, you can also cr save it as a PDF and print it out. So there's lots of ways to make this uh, look better. You can change the color so it matches the color style that you're using. Uh, that sort of thing. So hopefully this will help you just get started in using Visio to create a Ishikawa uh, diagram or a cause and effect. So thanks a lot.